Hi, in this video, we're going to integrate this. So we're going to start by trying to write everything as x to a power. So recall that you can take the square root of x and you can write this as x to the one half. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and rewrite this. So we'll write down our integral sign. We have four x to one half minus, and then we have four over and then we have x to the one half parentheses and then we have our dx now we have x to a power down here we really need it upstairs so what we're going to do in the next step is take this x to the one half and bring it up when we do that the exponent will become negative so this becomes the integral of four x to the one half minus and then 4x to the negative 1 half. Then we have the parentheses and the dx. So now everything is x to a power, so we can use the power rule. Recall that the power rule says if you have x to the n dx, this is equal to x to the n plus 1, over n plus one plus our constant. And this formula is only valid if n is not equal to negative one. So in this case, um, we're okay there. n is not negative one, so we can use this formula. Okay, so this is our n. So we're gonna take one and we're gonna add it to one half. So one half plus one is really one half plus two halves. So it's three halves. So now we drop the integral sign. So this is four x to the 3 halves, and then we divide by 3 halves. Okay, so divided by 3 over 2, minus 4. Then negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. Okay, we take negative 1 half, we add 1, and that gives us 1 half. This is 1 half, and then you divide by 1 half. And then we have our constant of integration, capital C. And we're still not done because we have um, a fraction in the denominator, typically not something we do. So basically, you have this and you're dividing it by a fraction. Remember, um, division is the same thing as multiplication by the reciprocal. So this is really 2 thirds, 4x, the 3 halves. Right, because you're dividing by three halves, it's the same thing as multiplying by two thirds, minus two over one, and then four x to the one half, and then we have plus c. Don't forget the plus c, our constant of integration. Okay, now we can go ahead and clean this up. So two, this is really four over one, so you just multiply across. Two times four is eight, three times one is three. And then we have x, 3 halves, 2 times 4 is 8, so then this is just 8, x to the 1 half, plus our constant of integration, capital C. And so that would be the final answer in this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.